What we're going to be going over here is the selling and administrative expense budget. We'll just look at a basic setup here for this budget. So uh, under our budgets here, we start out with our master budget. And then under our master budget, we're going to have our operating budget and also our financial budget. So our selling and administrative expense budget really falls under our sales here. So the first thing we have to do in our operating budget, we have to develop our sales budget. Once we develop our sales budget, then we can determine our selling and administ administrative expense budget. But the other thing we all, that's entailed here with the selling and administrative expense budget is the cash payments that we have to make here to, for our selling and administ administrative expense. And those cash payments really are tied into our financial budget here, and they would fall under the cash budget. So the cash budget is going to make payments here, is going to pay for the uh, selling and administrative costs. Okay, so we understand where our selling and administrative uh, budget would have to be developed. It has to come under our sales budget. Now let's just go and look at what would be included in that. Okay, so for our selling and administrative expense budget, first we'd have to determine the, determine the budgeted selling and administrative expenses here, and that would equal the budgeted fixed selling and administrative expenses plus we would add to it the budgeted variable rate as a proportion of sales here times the budgeted sales dollars here. So we're going to have to determine a very our budgeted variable rate here for our selling and administrative expenses. And then knowing that here, knowing our budgeted selling and administrative expenses, then we can determine the cash payments for the selling and administrative expenses here. So now those cash payments would equal the budgeted selling and administrative expenses that we calculated up here. And then while we would be doing a subtracting any depreciation and any other costs which do not require cash payments. So two things we have to do with our selling and administra administrative expense. We have to determine the budgeted selling uh, and expenses here and then we also have to deal with the cash payments for the selling and administrative expenses. And then one other thing here, um, we're just using this looking at the selling and administrative expense, but you would you use similar but a uh, similar budgeting uh, budgeting approach for other non-manufacturing functions like engineering, purchasing, distribution, and marketing and so forth. Okay, so we'll continue on with our example here for selling and administrative expense. Now we're calculating our selling and administrative expense budget. So for our selling and administrative expenses, the first thing we have to know is our variable selling and administrative expense. They're going to be budgeted here at 10% of the sales dollars, for example. And then for our fixed portion here, the but it's going to be budgeted for the fixed selling and administrative expenses at fifty thousand per month here. Fifty thousand dollars per month here. So those are our variable and our fixed parts for our administrative expenses here. And then for our cash payments, they're going to be made for all the expenditures made during the month except for uh, depreciation in this case here, $25,000. And that would be for any other non-cash expenses here. And we're just saying it's $25,000 here for our selling and administrative portion here of the budget. So for our calculations here for selling and administrative expense, setting up this budget here, we're going to look at it just for one month here, the Mar month of Mar a month of March here. But you'd have to go through it for all the months in the year here. But we'll just do it for one month. So the first thing we do here, we have to determine our budgeted and selling administrative expenses. So that would be our budgeted fixed selling and administrative expense that we have in our example here of $50,000 here for that particular month here. And we'd have to add to it here the budgeted variable rate. And in, in this case, it's going to be as a proportion of our sales dollars here. So you would take this budgeted variable rate that we're going to be look at here times the budgeted sales dollars here. So for our example, our uh, budgeted variable rate here is going to be 10% of our sales dollars. So we take 10%. In this case, our sales dollars that we looked at here are going to be, in this example, would be one point. One million dollars, or one million one hundred thousand dollars. So ten percent of that would be a hundred and ten thousand dollars. So let's go and let's just look at where we got this one million one hundred thousand dollars figure from. 
Okay, so that's going to come off our sales budget here. Again, these are forecasted budget estimates. And we're just looking at one product here and one specific month at month of March here. So the only thing we really have to know here is our a net, our total amount here of our sales dollars. So in this case, we're just going to have this single product going to be selling at $100 per unit. And in our for our unit sales here from the sales department, we're going to be looking at the month of March here. Uh, 11,000 units that they're going to be selling. But you'd have to go through this uh, administrative budget here for each of the months here. So for our sales budget, again, just for that month of March here, all you're going to do is take your, your sales. There's going to be that $11,000 worth of unit sales that we have here times our budgeted price here of $100. Now you'd have to go through that for all your products here if you're going to uh, you know, come up with a total amount here. But I'm just using it for one product here, one price and one specific month here. So $100 times quantity of 11,000 gives you that $1.1 million here. And we're really not concerned with the cash discounts, cash sales, credit sales, and so forth. But in this example, we're going to have net sales of $1,000,000. $90,100. But we're just going to deal with the uh, gross amount here, the $1,100,000. Okay, so going back to our example here. So our sales here as a, per, our, uh, our budgeted sales as a percent here are determine our variable rate. That is 10% here at, uh, times our budgeted sales, $1,100,000. That gave us $110,000 here. So our total selling and administrative expenses is our fixed portion here, the $50,000, plus our variable portion here of $110,000. For total selling and administrative expense for $160,000. That's for just this one month of March. Now, again, for our cash payments for our selling and administrative expense, you're just going to take your budgeted selling and administrative expense of $160,000 here that we calculated up above, and you would be subtracting up any of those non-cash expenses that you'd have. And we're just throwing in depreciation as an example here. And again, or other costs which do not require any cash payments. So our total cash payments, uh, net, uh, our depreciation we're using in this example is 25000 So subtracting that from our budgeted selling and administration expense every 160000 our total cash payments are going to be $135,000. All right, so that's just the basics here for setting up your selling and administrative expense. Just to note that uh, going over it here, just remember you're going to have a, a budgeted, you're going to have a fixed portion of expense here, and then you're going to have a variable portion. And usually your variable portion is going to be based on some percentage of your budgeted, total budgeted sales for the period. So using your fix, you have to add your fixed portion, your variable portion together to determine your total selling and administrative expenses. And then for any cash payments, you would take those total expenses here and then subtract out any non-cash uh, uh, expenses that you'd have to come up with the total cash payments. Okay, so that's just the basic summary here. It's pretty simple with your selling and administrative expenses, but remember you might want to go through a, a similar type of uh, budgeting for the other depart other non-manufacturing or non-production uh, departments like engineering, purchasing, and uh, marketing and so forth. Although marketing could easily fall under your sell selling and administrative expense budget. Okay, so that'll summarize our topic.